Hi guys, I'm Melissa. This is month 25 with your toddler and with my toddler, Bracey. What is typical for a 25 month old toddler when it comes to speech and language? Saying 50 to 100 words, the amount of words that your child utters should be increasing. Mommy? Mommy. Who's in the book? George. George, way to go. Saying phrases with two or more words, some toddlers are saying even longer and more complex phrases. And blabbering a lot. Experts say you should be understanding about 50% of what your toddler says. If your toddler is not uttering two word phrases and you are not noticing new words popping up or you have difficulty understanding your toddler's single words, not their blabbering, check with your doctor. There might be some hearing issues or your child might be experiencing some forms of speech delay. In either case, early intervention is crucial. Here's some speech activities for a 25 month old toddler to stimulate language and brain development. Narrate what you do, waking up, getting dressed, washing dishes, taking a shower, getting in the car, putting gas in the car, and say why you do those things. Articulate categories. Would you like a fruit bracy, such as an apple, a pear, or an orange? What is your favorite means of transportation? Is it a car, a truck, or a plane? While your child is playing, describe things out loud like colors, forms, numbers, and you can even start to tell stories which will add a lot of richness to your child's play. Converse with your child as much as possible. Read, 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 and then read some more. Sing songs and nursery rhymes. If you speak a foreign language, by all means, speak that with your child. Bilingualism is great for your child's language development and for their brain. Your child might start speaking clearly in either one or both of the languages a bit later because children who grow up bilingual tend to be a bit delayed in their speech, but they usually catch up just fine and the two languages is actually terrific for them. With all of my five, now six kids, I've had to come up with different strategies when it comes to reading. Sometimes I read to Bracey when he's in the crib. Sometimes I read to Bracey when he's playing. Sometimes I read to Bracey when he's in the high chair and he's eating. I've just tried to sort of come up with whatever time I could get him within ear's reach to listen to a book. It doesn't mean that he's actually looking at the book. I look at this kind of like books on tape, thinking that the sound of the words is just great for his language and brain development and that I just wanna keep the speech and the language coming. Another thing about books, try to think about it like part of your day, like drinking water. If you're going to grandma's house or out for a walk, pack in a few books, try to read them, even if they're just short and they seem like silly books, all books are good and you really want your child to have a love of books and of reading. So pack them in your diaper bag and off you go. If you can do that three times a day, that's already 10 minutes. And if you can do more, great. Just do what you can. And also listen to what your child likes. If your child wants to read about planes, read about planes. If your child is into horses, read about horses. Whatever gets your child interested. This and don't worry so much if they're not looking at the pictures because they're still hearing the story. When it comes to physical activities, what should your 25 month old be doing? Well, at this point, your toddler should be getting more agile, more fluid and stronger in their physical activities. Try to do as many of them as you can. If you don't have a lot of time, try to take a short little walk or a quick trip to the park. If you're stuck at home on a rainy day, try rolling around, try playing hide and seek get on and off the sofa, or carefully while spotting your child, climb up and down a staircase. You just want to keep your child moving as much as possible. To develop gross motor skills at this age, here are a list of good physical activities for your child. Play catch. Kick the ball back and forth. Climb on and off chairs, sofas, and beds. Climb the play gym. Go up and down the slide. Hopefully your child does this alone pedal a tricycle using feet or using their feet and legs to propel them along, along the ground. Intellectual activities for a 25 month old toddler. 
Toddlers this age should be able to build blocks that are a few blocks high. They should be able to begin sorting colors and they should be able to begin doing basic puzzles. Here are five easy activities to do with your toddler when it comes to blocks. Stack the blocks as high as possible, saying out loud the colors and the numbers and then have fun knocking them down. Build shapes, squares, triangles, and rectangles. Do two color patterns like red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and then ask your toddler what comes next. Trace the block onto a piece of paper and then have your toddler color in that shape. Make a tower, a plane, or a house with the blocks and then again have fun tearing them down. Your 25 month old social and emotional development. How to build your toddler's self-confidence. Toddlers this age are becoming aware of the fact that they can exert a certain amount of control over their environment and they can be defiant. You might find that your toddler's favorite word is no. I hear it all day. No mommy, no night night, no this, no that. And this can be really hard and challenging to deal with. Having now gone through this five, six times, I will tell you that the thing that's worked the best for me is to give my toddler choices over little tiny small decisions that don't matter. What crayon to use, what shirt to wear, what socks to wear, what shoes, whether to play blocks or with a puzzle. Make your toddler feel as if he or she is in charge. Then they will tend to battle you less when it comes to the bigger decisions like whether to go to bed, now it's time to go to the doctor or get out the door or whatever else is part of your toddler's daily schedule. Public temper tantrums. I've been there more times than you can imagine and it is so embarrassing. You're out in public with your toddler, your toddler has an enormous fit, screaming and crying and carrying on. I once carried a writhing toddler who was going like this back and forth with their arms and legs to an airport and all the people were sighing at me and shaking their heads and it was so embarrassing, even humiliating. Well, guess what? You learn quickly as a parent that you truly can only control your own behavior. And the most important thing when it comes to public temper tantrums and temper tantrums in general is that you stay cool and you have to find ways to do this. That might be having a large glass of water. It might be, if you can, taking a shower, taking a short walk, whatever it takes to stay calm. Because that way, your child will sort of have their bonfire of a temper tantrum, and sooner or later, that will burn out, and you will be left having a calm discussion about what happened and why did they get so upset and how they have to work to use their words and not get so angry. What should my 25-month-old be eating? Continue to give your toddler a wide variety of foods from all the basic food groups. Opt for whole grains over white rice and white pasta. Lean proteins like lean chicken, lean beef, fish. You can also try nut butters. You can try hummus. That's great for toddlers. Opt for fresh fruit and fresh vegetables over canned or frozen vegetables and give fresh sources of dairy. Skip the fruit in the yogurt and give them plain yogurt. Your doctor at this point might be advising that your child have low fat milk. Here's the schedule for a 25 month old toddler. At around 7 a.m. your toddler should wake up and if they're breastfeeding, they should breastfeed, then they should have breakfast. Give a snack around 10 a.m. At around 12 p.m. your toddler should have lunch, then they should go down for their nap, which is probably gonna take place between about one and three. At around 3 p.m. they should have a snack. Maybe it's protein rich, maybe it's dairy rich and a little more milk. At around 6 p.m. that's a good time for dinner. 7 p.m. might be the final milk feeding and at 8 p.m. or so it's night night. Toddlers this age need between about 12 and a half and 14 hours sleep. They'll get most of that at night and they'll get the rest of it in a nap which will be around 1.5 to 3 hours long. When measuring growth, doctors look at your own baby's individual growth trajectory. So don't start to get all worried about averages unless your doctor tells you that there is a cause for concern. That said, for context, here are the averages for weight and height for a toddler this age. The average weight for a 25 month old toddler is 28.4 pounds for boys, which is 12.9 kilos and 27.1 pounds, which is 12.3 kilos 
for girls. The average height for a 25 month old toddler is 34.5 inches, which is 87.6 centimeters for boys and 34 inches, which is 86.3 centimeters for girls. Gracie update. Gracie had an amazing 25th month. He began to say a lot more two word phrases such as no mommy and no night night. He, no, 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 no. he had a lot of fun playing ball with his siblings around the house and kicking a big old beach ball around. And he really, really enjoyed propelling himself forward on his favorite little mini plastic tricycle. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you back soon on cloudmom.com.